Hey comic book fans, welcome back to Comic Book Corner 2.0 and fans, you're back with me, Mike Spider Slayer, getting ready to do Comic Book Haul week number 209, that's right fans. Now this week's Comic Book Haul is a little bit different as I haven't actually purchased my books yet. Uh, my son unfortunately fractured his foot and I am home with him today. So uh, it might be a couple days before I actually get my books. But I wanted to show you a haul of the books that I am purchasing so I can start doing reviews. They might be digital reviews or a little bit different off the nook. Uh, but I wanted to get this haul video in. So with that being said, let's pretend that there's books in a bag. Let's throw the bag on the floor anyway, and let's get started with this week's comic book haul. All right, so I do have something physical to show you this week, as my wife bought me these Captain America playing cards, and I thought these were awesome because um, when you actually look at them, the tops of the cards, it's just, you know, Captain America on there. But when you go throughout the deck, you get to see uh, different covers of Captain America throughout the years. So I thought that was really awesome uh, to see these types of cards. I was like flipping through every single one of them going like, oh, which cover is this? Oh, what panel does that take place on? And you get to see like these different, you know, just these different poses or, or thought bubbles or, you know, things like that of Captain America. So very classic. Uh, just the littlest things that uh, appease me is, is just completely awesome. So I was really happy about that. Um, but, okay, so here we go. We're going to go into the books uh, that I'm actually picking up this week. Okay, first things first, fans. The first pick book that I am picking up this week goes to... A-Force, issue number three. That's right, fans. Uh, I'm really excited about this book. I really enjoy this book tremendously. Um, we're going to be getting new creative teams on it, so I'm not sure how the book will go forward, but uh, I love this story where it has to do with Singularity, and it has um, uh, She-Hulk in there, and it has Nico, and it has Medusa, and it's just a gorgeous looking book. I truly love it. I really enjoy it, and uh, I can't wait to see what issue three has to bring, and I love all their personalities. Really, really good. All right, the next book that I got is Avengers Standoff. Number one, Assault on Pleasant Hill, Alpha number one. That's It's the longest title for a comic book ever. But nevertheless, I love the um, Avengers Standoff Pleasant Hill book. Um, I thought it was really neat. It's something different. It doesn't seem like that this is a catastrophic, monumental uh, event that's going on in the Marvel Universe. This seems like a book that uh, it, it might be a little bit self-contained uh, within the within Earth, uh, which I think is pretty cool. Um, I like the cover here how you have Sam Wilson in front and he's pointing out the shield and then you got Captain America and everything else. So... Really cool looking book. Uh, it is $4.99 though. That, that's the one thing that I don't like. You know, why is it that we have to continuously push these $4.99 books? But I am looking forward to it. So that's Avenger Standoff issue number one. Next, we have Black Widow issue number one. Definitely looking forward to this as this is the same creative team that was on the last volume of Daredevil. And, uh, and I loved the last volume of Daredevil. Kind of lightened him up a little bit. Had serious tones when needed. But it created a real, you know, uh, supporting cast around him. Where this current volume of Daredevil doesn't quite do that here. And I really want to see a sustainable Black Widow series. Where all her series winds up getting cancelled. So we're going to see what happens here. And uh, I'm excited what Mark Waid has to write for her. So uh, this is Black Widow issue number one. Next is Darth Vader issue number 17. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what to expect. Uh, with this issue, you know, we still have him dealing with the aftermaths of Vader down and dealing with uh, Dr. Afra, how he's trying to recover her. Uh, I'm not sure what this story has to bring to its readers, but I am a fan of Darth Vader and uh, I, I love the Star Wars book the best, but Darth Vader is solid. So this is Darth Vader issue number 17. 
All right, next is Deadpool number eight. This looks like interesting. This is Deadpool versus Sabretooth. Um, I'm not sure where, again, we're going now because this is a new story arc. It's done with the whole introduction to the Mercs, uh, you know, Mercs for money or whatever the hell that they're called. And uh, I'm not sure if the artwork's changed on there. We got a, definitely a, a new cover artist, which I think it's uh, Allred's artwork, which some people are not fans of. I'm not too much of a fan. I'm not sure if it's going to work for uh deadpool or if it's just the cover art itself but we're gonna see where this series goes as well i'm starting to make some really tough decisions on comic books as i'm starting to prepare myself for dc rebirth uh that's a key thing here because now that dc is going to be doubling up titles with marvel doubling up their titles you're really going to have to make cuts because you can't afford everything but we'll see what deadpool has in store for its readers and this is issue number eight Next is Grim Tales of Terror, Volume 2, Issue Number 5. Uh, this has to do with a VHS tape, and, uh, and, and kids pass it around, and, and scary stuff happens. Um, definitely looking forward to this issue. This is something like that movie that's called VHS, I think. Um, it's going to be probably just like that, just really creepy. Uh, I, I wish there are some stories lasted a little bit longer. Um, maybe like two issues or whatnot. You know, this one issue is almost not quite enough, but sometimes it is. Uh, but something like this, I seem like I would want to read a little bit more of it. But we'll see what happens here. So, Grim Tales of Terror, Volume 2, Number 5. Love these self-contained stories. Next is a book that I'm probably most highly anticipated. Uh... And this is Green Lantern issue number 50. It's an extra sized issue. It's $5. It's another $5 book. It's got Hal Jordan Parallax though. And he's looking to go after the current Green Lantern, Hal Jordan, because he feels that he's not an adequate uh, Green Lantern. So I think this is going to be awesome. I love Green Lantern Parallax. It brings me back to the 90s. I uh, love the cover here as Parallax is just looking off to the side. Uh, just this evil presence, you know, so really excited about that. All right, next we have Invincible Iron Man issue number seven, War Machines part two. Not sure what to expect out of this um, this story arc that's going forward as I wasn't a huge fan of the last issue. Mike Dodato did the artwork, um, and uh, I like when uh, Dave Marquez does the artwork. It brings a much lighter tone to the book. I get when you have War Machine, he's a little bit of a darker character, very darker looking, so you're going to have dark, darker artwork. But I feel like Invincible Iron Man's progress has slowed down uh, to almost a screeching halt. And I'm wondering if they're just stalling and waiting around for Civil War. Uh, but nevertheless, I am continuing to read this series. I can't wait to see where it goes. Invincible Iron Man, issue number seven. All right, next is Mighty Morphin Power Rangers issue number one. Um, you know, if you're a Power Rangers fan, you're going to want to check this out. However, if you're not a Power Rangers fan, you might want to read this one because when it came to Power Rangers issue number zero, I felt that this worked much better in a comic series than it did in the actual TV series. If I was a comic reader and I read this for the first time, I was like, dude, this is awesome. This is like a bunch of robots coming together to form one big giant robot. And I feel like you can do so much more with this. So this is Mighty Morphin Power Rangers number one. All right, next book uh, that I'm reading is Nova, issue number five. Um, Nova's going to continue to unravel the mystery with his father, Jesse Alexander. Um, and he's going to try to find out where he is. Now, I get that this series is really tied to him and his relationship with the father. Um, but it kind of a way, I kind of want to see where, what else they're going to do with this book besides him just trying to find his father. It's like last volume, we spent the whole volume finding his father. He finally finds his father. Then he finds up his father is weird and messed up. And now he's like disappeared again. And so now he's got to search him all over again. I just kind of feel like it's a little repetitive. Uh, however, though, I do like the Nova series. I love the way it's written. I love the artwork in it. And uh, I will continue to read it. So this is Nova issue number five. All right. 
Next book that I'm reading is Old Man Logan, issue number three. Um, this book is really cool because in the last issue, we wind up seeing that um, Logan was fighting Hulk. And he thought that if he could defeat Hulk, that he could definitely win the day and save the future. Well, that wasn't the case. He winds up fighting Amadeus em Cho. And uh, now he doesn't know what to expect because he has no idea what happened to Banner. And if he doesn't kill Banner, then the whole world is going to change. And uh, and, and and so it's all a big mix-up. And then he winds up going to Hawkeye's place because he feels that he can trust Hawkeye. But Hawkeye is not Hawkeye. It's Katie Bishop. So it, all things are messed up for old man Logan right off the bat. Can't wait to see where this goes. I really love the first two issues. Can't wait to see where issue three goes. All right, next book I felt that got a lot of controversy, and that is Spider-Man issue number two. Uh, this book is a $3.99 book. I uh, love the cover here as Spider-Man is sitting on a top of bodies, and he's holding the Captain America shield. Really cool cover. Um, I liked the first issue. A lot of people thought that Miles was out of character, or maybe he was too much like Peter Parker, um, and, and he was replacing the Spider-Man that we knew. Um, there's still a lot of questions to be answered when it comes to Miles Morales on his, on how he realizes how he is in, in this new Marvel universe. If he realizes what happened, does he remember what happened from the events of Secret Wars and things like that and getting adjusted to things, uh, was his memory erased that his mother ever died? It's just a lot of things and he's in a different universe, so he's going to act differently. So, um... I'm curious to see what happens. Uh, I'm a fan of this. I will always read it. I love Brian Michael Bendis on this book, and I love uh, – uh, I think it's um, – oh, I'm trying to remember her name. Um, it's on the slip of my tongue who art, does the artwork, but I can't remember. I'm sure I'll remember uh, uh, in the future, but I'm definitely looking forward to this one. All right, next is an independent book from um, – uh, image comics and that is the violence or violence issue number three this is like a real life comic book um you know that you would see on a tv show or this could happen in real life where we get to see a couple who is struggling with drugs and losing their baby and uh but you care for these characters in this book and i really love it and uh i can't wait to see where this one goes as well because in the last issue we find out that his wife is missing the the good guy uh mason he spirals out of control he kills his former drug dealer on accident and now he's really going to be running from the law he broke his parole just everything is going wrong for this guy but he's just trying to find his wife and he's trying to get his baby back so it's all good intentions but everything just goes wrong for him definitely pick it up if you guys haven't checked it out and of course it's an image book and it's 2.99 all right last but not least on this week's haul I am reading The Walking Dead number 152. Uh, it's titled, I think, Silence the Whisperers. Uh, it looks like Rick and the group are going to finally take action against these whisperers who've been just a thorn in their side for issues and issues now ever since they killed some of their Alexandrians. So we're going to see what happens here and... Um, what are the ramifications of this war that is starting between these this uh, group of people here? So definitely looking forward to The Walking Dead issue number 152. So there you have it, fans. There is the haul for this week. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Even though I didn't have the physical copies, at least you did see the covers. And I gave my expressions uh, towards this the books that I'm picking up this week. So now, guys, it's your turn to leave in the comments below what you are most anticipated reading. Maybe some of the least anticipated books that you're going to read. And maybe all that other stuff in between. So, guys, until the next comic book review, this is Mike Spider Slayer signing off. And thanks for watching Comic Book Corner 2.0. Take care, fans. See you soon. Bye.